guys, good morning. My name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's 10.36. Um, I just want to explain to you that what happened last night. The guy upstairs was walking into the flats and um, someone said she's dead. Well, there's a guy here that is dressed up like the guy upstairs with a pair of gloves on. Um, we've got a couple of box uh, fans here. Box. So he's dressed up like the guy upstairs. There's a couple of box vans. Box is slang for coffin. Um, I'm just walking Max up the path, as you do. Um, whether it's like just a coincidence, I don't know. But uh, I'm not frightened. This is where I live. This is where I walk my dog. I have done for the past four years since 2020. And no one's going to intimidate me otherwise. Uh, there's a bloke down there on his mobile phone. Uh, with a cap on his head. Got a really deep voice. I'm a woman. My voice is really like... It's a woman's voice. What you would expect a woman to have. So this guy's got a really deep voice and he's uh, like, you know, sometimes I talk to my mum when I'm on the field. <laughs> um, so, I'm not going out anywhere today. I've got some like landscapers down there in orange t-shirts. I'm not going out anyway today, I'm just walking my dog. <laughs> Told you I'm not scared of the guy upstairs. I'm not, I ain't frightened of him, and I'm a woman. <laughs> but that's how they, they keep you under control. They use things that they think you're frightened of to like subdue you and keep you under control. <laughs> What a lovely day it is today. There's a couple of pigeons here, their heads are on. They've all got their heads on this morning. Remember, it's not illegal to take pictures and film in public. Even if someone says you it says to you it is or tries to intimidate you, you can take a camera and film outside. Do you know what I got sent to me this morning? A Luna a Luna is somebody that um it's to do with balloons. So somebody Luna sent me a picture of their leg, their leg and a trainer and a balloon. No no face to the picture, no head. Just their foot, their leg and a trainer. I told you, 3.30 in the morning, hi, that's what that Sean texted me. Um, that's what he used to text, and then he used to take the mickey of, out, out of how I look like. <laughs> His Del Boy Trotter t-shirt with geezer on it. And there's these guys with the high-vis waistcoats like he goes to work in upstairs. <laughs> I don't go to work. That's why I'm walking my dog on the field at um, gone half past ten in the morning. That's what the police said, wasn't it? That's what the police said to me. They went, mate, didn't they? The coppers. Supposed to be coming out Thursday, the police. 
<laughs> yep. It's all booked. Whether they'll ring again and have a telephone appointment, I don't know. They didn't have the resources for a police car last time. <laughs> so this guy is dressed up like him upstairs. Told you, they've gone. So we haven't got that today. The Gloucestershire dinosaur van has disappeared. They <laughs> see nice this is the lorry. All the way from Gloucester. <laughs> Heaver Brothers Limited up there. Heaver Brothers. Heaver. H E A V E R. There's a lorry up there with Heaver Brothers on it. <sighs> Tell you, I swear I'm living in the land of make believe. Absolutely, 100%. And is the news real or is it fake? <laughs> So the guy upstairs went to the cop in his black t-shirt and his shorts last night. I was wearing my trousers. And the temperatures dipped. And I'm not walking around in shorts because I'll get goose pimples on my legs. <laughs> it's dipped gone down a few degrees which I feel better for I like it this way when you think about it the Queen grew up on television the Queen and uh, the royal family are all on TV, aren't they? They've grown up with the television. <laughs> Horses. <laughs> horses, uh, horses truck carries horses. Out of everywhere I've lived, I prefer Gloucester. I do. Out of all the places I've lived, it was the quietest place that I've lived. It's got uh, sheep on your doorstep. Sheep. It's royal, isn't it, Gloucestershire? Royal Gloucestershire. Royal. Mind you, where I was living, it wasn't posh. It wasn't the posh part of Gloucestershire, no. It wasn't the posh part. It was the council estate part. It wasn't where Charles and Camilla looked. It wasn't Highgrove near anywhere like that. It was the, it was the council estate part of Gloucestershire. You know, where the common people live. <laughs> Nowhere near was it near royalty. So the box vans are out again, which is slang for coffin. So they like playing games, you see. 
just like playing games. Has it stopped me coming out this morning? No, it fucking hasn't. <laughs> if this is television, my father died on it. My father Derek died on TV. He did. Probably so did my sister. Got if they have little bits of fun, don't they? Play with you, intimidate you, got to make you feel upset and afraid. <laughs> so I'm still in Rochester, guys. My mum Jennifer's still in Chatham. And it's me that's being intimidated. <laughs> she had a nice purple t-shirt on yesterday, my mother did. Really nice bright purple t-shirt. Mustn't speak, mustn't speak, Crystal. We're gonna block you out with all the horrible noises. <laughs> Let's get some fresh air. Fresh air. If I'm going through this now, fuck knows what it, I was going through when I was a kid, a child, you know. Oh, I told you, did I tell you that a dog, when I was a kid going to the shop for my mum and dad, a dog bit me on the kneecap. A dog bit me on the knee when I was about nine years old going to get cigarettes and alcohol for my dad from the local shop. A dog bit me. So how do you think I felt as a kid with this going on? A child. I must have been fucking terrified. So they've been doing it to me since I was a kid. And I'm a middle-aged woman now and they're still doing it. <laughs> it's all about sex and being abused. You know. Abused as a child I was, going out in the street afterwards, in a terrible state. I wasn't a mad kid. I wasn't uh, mental. I was being abused. Uh, and I used to scream and get upset because no one would listen to me. No one would help me. <laughs> now as an adult... <laughs> Sometimes I feel like doing the same thing, but nobody cares, nobody takes any notice. You're just fucking invisible. Well, you're not, they know you're there, but they just, they just, uh, they're a bunch, of, it's not me that's the chicken, by the way, it's them. Loads of them. The ones that watch, the ones that watch Charlie do what he did, they're a bunch of fucking chickens. All of them. Not one of them came over, you know, and stopped him. It's the same with every, every one of them. It's not me that's in the wrong, it's them, and they can't accept it. So trying to make out I'm the villain and get me cross when they're guilty of... Well, I don't know what you call it when you just stand and watch someone get abused. Cowardice? Shame? Some of them ain't fit for purpose for their jobs. They smoke drugs while they're driving. They're working and they're smoking spliffs. I 
I've, you know what I mean? Just pick on me. Pick on me. Put me in a cell. If that makes you feel better. If that eases your conscience. I'm going to keep carrying on until someone listens. Until someone stop this fakery. This nonsense. The lies, the deceit. Keep bombarding me with noises. Make my life a misery. Keep doing it. Threaten me with a box. I mean, you did that to me when I was a kid. I'm fucking over 50 now. You're going to threaten me with a box, yeah? <laughs> what did you all do to me as a kid? What did you threaten me with then? When you let my dad do what he did. What did you threaten me with then? Told you I'd already been bitten by a dog by the time I was nine. Animals setting dogs on kids to shut them up. Scumbags. Bullies. Crap. Sewerage, stinky shit, slime, Pit ganging up on a woman, dirty, disgusting trash bags. No one's gonna ever fucking do what that Charlie did to me again. No fucker. of 61 tell lies to you and stick his tongue down your throat yummy yummy when he hasn't had a bath for nine months you try it you fucking bastards I don't fucking care anymore they ruin my childhood they ruin my fucking Twenties, they ruin my thirties, they ruin my forties. Yeah, they want to play with an old 